Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete Rach. On this week's video, we're looking at waterproof changing robes and how to look after them. I like to think of a weatherproof changing robe as being a little bit like a pet. The better you look after and nurture it, the better it's gonna look after you. I'm gonna give you my top tips for keeping yours in tip-top condition. When you finish the activity, you wanna make sure that the change robe is going to be in good condition to be able to put on. There's a few solutions for that. So you could either pop it into a big uh, bag that you want to leave on the side. So that's a big dry bag there. Uh, you might want to pop it into a tow float. Uh, quite a few of the change robes that I've tested recently will fit into around about a 30 litre um, tow float. Another option is one of these changing mats. There's lots of them out there. Big circular disc that you pop the thing on and then you can pull up the edges to keep it uh, clear of any dirt getting on it. So just pulling this bit together, making it into a big bag. The other thing you could do, using the hood itself, is hang that off a tree or just drape it over something, a bit like I've done here on this bridge. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a bridge, but draping it over something or keeping it off the ground will stop it from uh, picking up things off the ground or uh, perhaps being a temptation for a little dog to come and have a pee on. When you get home and take it off, you need to give it a big old shake to get rid of any sand or any leaves or anything that might be hanging about in the fibres. Then, using the hood, hang it up to dry at room temperature. I tend to hang mine inside out and then maybe switch it the other way around if, I think, if it's been raining. Um, and I just leave it like that, it'll dry pretty quickly and uh, it means by drying it out, there shouldn't be any musty smells. Okay, down to storage now. So a number of options. You can just leave it hung up like I do by the hood over a door somewhere in your house. Um, but once it's dry, quite often I will just then transfer it into my car so it's ready for action as soon as I am. Um, they often come with a little pouch you can put them in or I've got a little trick that I'm gonna show you now. Lie the changing robe down, bring the arms in across Fold the bottom up and then roll it to get the air out. Then what we're going to do is tuck the ends into the hood. It can take a little bit of work. that can bring a fairly bulky item down to something not much more than the size of a pillow. Now we talk about cleaning. When do I clean it and how often? Well, this changing robe I've had probably about six or seven years and um, actually I think it's only been in the wash twice. And not that I'm an absolute stinker, but I'll tell you how you know when to wash it. So I would say, if it smells bad, that might be an indicator. I guess if you've got it completely caked in mud, you know, slid down a big, uh, a big incline or something and it's in a terrible state, then maybe you might want to. But first off, go with the easy option of wait until the, uh, till the mud's dried and then to start with, just give it a brush off with something like, this is one of those shoe polish brushes, a clean one, and just giving it a gentle brush to remove anything and that might well loosen the mud off there and you may not have to put it through the wash. Uh, if there's anything that remains after you've had a go with that then the next thing you could do is use a damp sponge just to try and eke off any marks with just just easy dabbing. Again dab it, let it dry off, give it another brush if it's stubborn and you really, really want to get rid of the mark, then maybe it's time to put it through the wash. But putting these things in the wash isn't necessarily straightforward as you might imagine. You need to make sure there is no conditioner at all in the washing machine. And then you need to use something like a, a non-bio powder uh, or liquid and put it in at just 30 degrees. Once it comes out, you need to line dry it 
or hang it up at room temperature, but definitely don't apply any heat sources to it. Don't put it in the dryer and don't hang it on top of a radiator or something. Like I say, they don't need washing very often. One thing that might tell you that you need to give your changing robe a bit of wash is if you find that it's not as waterproof as it was when you first got it. So the durable waterproof coating is just that. It's a coating, a product that they put on top of the material to, uh, to make it waterproof. And that will come off with multi-wear, um, I guess a bit of rough and tough handling perhaps, and definitely using any conditioner or heat sources. The way we can check that, and what I mean by beading, is by um, is looking at it when it rains. Now, luckily it's not raining today, but I'm gonna show you on these changing robes what beading up looks like or should look like. Okay, here it goes. So I've got my water here. So it's beading up there, it's starting to run down. When it runs down, that shows, you can see here clearly on the, uh, on the Vivida that it's all beaded up there. Um, and that means that the material remains waterproof. If it just soaks in and the material turns dark, that means that it's losing its waterproofing. So if that happens, then the manufacturers tend to recommend a reproofing with something like Granger's or Nick Wax. Those are available from lots of different um, stores, places like Cotswold sell them, or you can buy it obviously online. Well, remember, getting out and about and enjoying nature is the number one name of the game. And uh, not looking your best and not smelling your best can be a bit of a side effect from them. But don't let that stop your activities. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of how to look after your changing robe. And if you have, you'll give it a like and drop me a comment with your hints and tips. And consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.